March 27. The Towns Judah Inherited This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Judah. The towns of Judah situated along the borders of Edom in the extreme south were Kabzeel, Eder, Jagur, Kina, Demona, Adada, Kedesh, Hazor, Ithnan, Ziph, Telam, Bealoth, Hazar Hadata, Kiriath Hezron, that is Hazor, Amam, Shema, Molada, Hazar Geda, Hezmon, Beth Pilat, Hazor Shul, Beersheba, Biziothea, Baala, Eim, Ezim, Iltalad, Kizel, Horma, Ziklag, Madmana, Sansana, Lebaoth, Shilhim, Ain, and Rimen, twenty nine towns with their surrounding villages. The following towns situated in the western foothills were also given to Judah Eshtael, Zora, Ashna, Zenoa, Enganim, Tapua, Enam, Jarmuth, Adullam, Soko, Ezekah, Shearaim, Adithium, Gadera, and Gedarothium, fourteen towns with their surrounding villages. Also included were Zenan, Hedesha, Migdalgad, Dilian, Mizpeh, Jokthiel, Lakish, Bozkath, Eglon, Cabon, Lamam, Kitlish, Gedaroth, Bethdagon, Naema, and Maketa, sixteen towns with their surrounding villages. Besides these, there were Libna, Ether, Ashan, Iptha, Ashna, Nizib, Kila, Akzib, and Meresha, nine towns with their surrounding villages. The territory of the tribe of Judah also included Ekron and its surrounding settlements and villages. From Ekron, the boundary extended west and included the towns near Ashdod with their surrounding villages. It also included Ashdod with its surrounding settlements and villages and Gaza with its settlements and villages, as far as the brook of Egypt and along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Judah also received the following towns in the hill country, Shamir, Jeter, Soko, Dana, Kiriasena, that is Deber, Anab, Eshtemoth, Anim, Goshen, Halan, and Gilo, eleven towns with their surrounding villages. Also included were the towns of Arab, Duma, Ishan, Janem, Beth Tapua, Afika, Humta, Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, and Zior, nine towns with their surrounding villages. Besides these, there were Maon, Carmel, Ziph, Juta, Jezreel, Jokdeam, Zenoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten towns with their surrounding villages. In addition, there were Halhol, Bethzur, Gedor, Merirath, Beth Anoth, and Eltikon, six towns with their surrounding villages. There were also Kiriath Baal, that is, Kiriath Jerem, and Rabbah, two towns with their surrounding villages. In the wilderness, there were the towns of Beth Arabah, Midin, Sikaka, Nibshan, the city of Salt, and Engedi, six towns with their surrounding villages. But the tribe of Judah could not drive out the Jebusites who lived in the city of Jerusalem. So the Jebusites live there among the people of Judah to this day. The Inheritance of Ephraim and West Manasseh The allotment for the descendants of Joseph extended from the Jordan River near Jericho, east of the springs of Jericho, through the wilderness and into the hill country of Bethel. From Bethel, that is Luz, it ran over to Adaroth in the territory of the Archites. Then it descended westward to the territory of the Japhletites as far as lower Beth Horon, then to Gezer and over to the Mediterranean Sea. The land given to Ephraim. This was the homeland allocated to the families of Joseph's sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. The following territory was given to the clans of the tribe of Ephraim. The boundary of their homeland began at Adaroth Adar in the east. From there it ran to Upper Beth Horon, then on to the Mediterranean Sea. From McMethith on the north, the boundary curved eastward past Tanath Shiloh to the east of Genoa. From Genoa, it turned southward to Adaroth and Nera, touched Jericho, and ended at the Jordan River. From Tapua, the boundary extended westward following the Cana Ravine to the Mediterranean Sea. This is the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Ephraim. In addition, some towns with their surrounding villages in the territory allocated to the half-tribe of Manasseh were set aside for the tribe of Ephraim. They did not drive the Canaanites out of Gezer, however, so the people of Gezer live as slaves among the people of Ephraim to this day. The Land Given to West Manasseh 
The next allotment of land was given to the half-tribe of Manasseh, the descendants of Joseph's older son. Maker, the firstborn son of Manasseh, was the father of Gilead. Because his descendants were experienced soldiers, the regions of Gilead and Bashan on the east side of the Jordan had already been given to them. So the allotment on the west side of the Jordan was for the remaining families within the clans of the tribe of Manasseh, Abizer, Helik, Azrael, Shechem, Hefer, and Shemitah. These clans represent the male descendants of Manasseh, son of Joseph. However, Zelophehad, a descendant of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Maker, son of Manasseh, had no sons. He had only daughters, whose names were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milcah, and Terza. These women came to Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the Israelite leaders, and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us a grant of land along with the men of our tribe. So Joshua gave them a grant of land along with their uncles, as the Lord had commanded. As a result, Manasseh's total allocation came to ten parcels of land, in addition to the land of Gilead and Bashan across the Jordan River, because the female descendants of Manasseh received a grant of land along with the male descendants. The land of Gilead was given to the rest of the male descendants of Manasseh. The boundary of the tribe of Manasseh extended from the border of Asher to Machmetheth near Shechem. Then the boundary went south from Machmetheth to the settlement near the spring of Tapua. The land surrounding Tapua belonged to Manasseh, but the town of Tapua itself on the border of Manasseh's territory belonged to the tribe of Ephraim. From the spring of Tapua, the boundary of Manasseh followed the Cana Ravine to the Mediterranean Sea. Several towns south of the ravine were inside Manasseh's territory, but they actually belonged to the tribe of Ephraim. In general, however, the land south of the ravine belonged to Ephraim, and the land north of the ravine belonged to Manasseh. Manasseh's boundary ran along the northern side of the ravine and ended at the Mediterranean Sea. North of Manasseh was the territory of Asher, and to the east was the territory of Issachar. The following towns within the territory of Issachar and Asher, however, were given to Manasseh. Bethshan, Iblium, Dor, that is Naphoth, Dor, Endor, Taanach, and Megiddo, each with their surrounding settlements. But the descendants of Manasseh were unable to occupy these towns. They could not drive out the Canaanites who continued to live there. Later, however, when the Israelites became strong enough, they forced the Canaanites to work as slaves, but they did not drive them out of the land. The descendants of Joseph came to Joshua and asked, Why have you given us only one portion of land as our homeland when the Lord has blessed us with so many people? Joshua replied, If there are so many of you, and if the hill country of Ephraim is not large enough for you, clear out land for yourselves in the forest where the Perizzites and Rephaites live. The descendants of Joseph responded, It's true that the hill country is not large enough for us, but all the Canaanites in the lowlands have iron chariots, both those in Bethshan and its surrounding settlements, and those in the valley of Jezreel. They are too strong for us. Then Joshua said to the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, the descendants of Joseph, Since you are so large and strong, you will be given more than one portion. The forests of the hill country will be yours as well. Clear as much of the land as you wish, and take possession of its farthest corners. And you will drive out the Canaanites from the valleys too, even though they are strong and have iron chariots.